Hi guys, welcome back to Maintain Your Garden. So today we've got the still RL54 into Scarifier. Um, formerly known as Viking. As you can see, it used to be green, now it's orange. Um, it's our first time using it today, as you can see on the grass here. We've got all the thatch up. We, we cross hatched it, you do it twice each time. Um, anyway, back to this. So what, we've, what we've done here, we've actually had to hold this back this back plate up to get help it helps get the thatch out easier sometimes it, it can clog quite easy if you don't um here we've got the it's important obviously when you before you start it have the height adjuster up and obviously when you do start it on the grass and you can lower it be careful never to lower it on the concrete when it's on you would just blast your blades and talking of blades i'll just turn it over have a look As you can see blades are very sharp um, on our old on our old Viking, the actual blades are up to here, and it wasn't working. Hence, why We've got a new one? Um, it's pretty much is exactly the same. Um, exactly the same. Well, you've also got the another height adjuster here. One, two, three, four. We, on our old one, we're doing that on sixes, and we've had to put it back to ones because you can see how heavy it's been going on. But not to worry, that'll come back. That'll come back in a. In a week or two's time. And yeah, let's see how it goes. Show you. So, what you do? Before you start it, make sure you've got four stroke, not two stroke, four stroke. You can do that. You see, it's full. Okay, make sure it's all set. Make sure this is up. Got it. Push that in. Um, like I said, it's always important to do it twice, cross hatch, that's the way, and then you blow it and you pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> right, so as you can see, we've, got, we've done it twice. You, you can, if you look on the grass, you can see the lines. It looks a bit of a mess, but what do we say? You've got to crack a few eggs to make an omelette, so that's what you're going to do. I've noticed as well, if you come along here, um, because the teeth are brand new, you're going to get it's going to go in quite deep. So you can see, it will pull up some roots along the way sometimes, but nothing you can do. Um, but once, once you apply the autumn fertilizer over the autumn and winter, it will regenerate and it will look quite nice. So in a week or two's time, we'll come put a bit of autumn fertilizer on, and yeah, it'd be good. And obviously, like I said, it looks a bit it looks a bit rough now, but that's the whole point. You do it this time of year, so. You don't mind it, look a little rough for a bit. Right, so now we're blown. Got all the thatch in the corner and the moss and all the rubbish. Let's stick it into this green bin. So, come with me. So, we've got Tory here. He's carrying on with a scarifying today. Obviously, we left that turf over there because that's new turf, so we don't scarify new turf for a good few years yet. Um, here he is. Let's see how he's getting on. How's it going? So, as you can see, um, I've done. This is the the second second run I've done. So I've gone horizontal one way and then parallel the other way. And as you can kind of see. It's doing it quite well, yeah. Once we blow all this off, it's good to have a bit of a crisscross. We're not going to be doing it today, but um, if you do have quite an infestation of moss, you can um, blow this way, clear it up, and then bring in some topsoil. And just get, get a bit of topsoil and just sort of shake it all over the area. You might need to fill some holes in just to make a bit level, like over here as well. You can see there's like no grass here at all, so I would probably advise to Rip this up a bit more topsoil, and then you come in and get like a mix, mix seed of mixed bag of uh, grass seeds, 
So it's got like your cooch or your, oh, you don't nice, have nice. here, but. And yeah. how's this doing? Yeah, it's doing great. So I've been using it for about an hour now. And as you can see, it has not used much fuel at all. So it's very, very fuel, fuel efficient, which is good. Oh, nice, nice. Well, this felt sorry. Hi guys, um, so after a full day of using this scarifier, a few things to note and they're all mostly positive to be honest. Um, obviously this is a Viking and it's repackaged as a still because still I've always owned Viking. So if you're wondering that, that's why, um, which is fair enough I suppose. Um, it's one, it's easy start. So you pull it straight away and you're good to go. Um, obviously it's brand new so it's bound to happen. Um, it's very light as well. So it's quite handy for me. I can get it into the van easy and it's, it just takes me to do it. And on top of that, the handlebars are foldable. Um, so if you have got a small van or a car, you can fold the handlebars and you can put them straight in, in the back and it'll fit nice and snug where you, wherever you want it to go. Um, fuel consumption, the fuel is really good. Um, we filled it up once today and yeah, it's lasted all day. That's on all four of the jobs. Um, so that's great for your pocket, you know, less money on fuel. And also it's good for the environment, you know, less petrol. Um, so yeah, um, blades are very sturdy takes up a lot of fat even even on the lowest setting um, and that's about all really my only, um, my only minus is, is this flap at the back we're about to hang it up with a piece of string I'm sure you can do it yourself in a way there is bits here I'm sure they can I've not figured it out yet though uh, we'll figure that in due time but yeah uh, if you like that review please like and subscribe uh, to the channel and I would much appreciate it thanks